inshaAllah. The light of the sun and the reality of the sun is of a Divine ishq and love. That when we understood the moon and the testing to be nothing, to be crushed, then we understood the reality that Allah want to make for us to be like the sun. So anyone talking from love and everything is love and everything, everything is of a Divine love that requ requires an immense amount of purity and testing. It's not the love that people think that is passion and, and, and these understandings. This is a Divine ishq and a Divine love of an immensely powerful nature. So that the character is clean, the mirror of their reality has to be clean. Only by the cleanliness of that reality because the, the fusion and the reality of the sun even teaches us what type of fire God is going to put within the heart. Is it a fire in which you break things, you split things and become combustion? No because it would be contaminating. Or is the fire of this Divine love they describe a reality of fusion? They cannot make and until the Chinese are trying to do it now, a fusion reactor on earth. Why? Because the intensity of heat that it creates. Why? So if you want to make a fusion reactor on earth where you're going to bring these elements, the immensity of the heat that's created, they don't have an understanding of how to contain that yet. If that's for the physical, imagine then the fusion within the heart. That God wants to deposit a Divine love within the heart and describes to us that your heart is like styrofoam, where do you plan on putting this love? And in what type of dirty vehicle are you going to sort of put this Divine love? That's why then you see these people doing all of these crazy actions very dirty, very dirty character, very dirty sort of things that they exhibit amongst each other and they talk, we're Divine love and love, no, 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 this garbage, this is all garbage. This love is so pure, is so powerful, is so immensely powerful that if a drop of it comes it annihilates and burns through everything. So with what vessel? Can mankind contain that love? And that's why first stage has to be the moon. So you can't say, no I got there, I'm, I'm all about love, I don't know about what you people are talking about testing. No, because you can't because you have to reach a state of that planetary existence. You are a planet, God did not create you as a star. As a result of being a planet you have to be crushed and everybody's an earth first. As soon as they come into the presence they're big time earths, they have a lot of formation, a lot of desires, a lot of, lot of things and possessions. And the tariqah bombards and bombards and the Divine is bombarding, 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 bombarding until they've been tested, tested, tested until mawt qablul mawt, death before death means then their planetary structure and their E equals MC squared. This was given from heavens to these people to understand that their energy equals the mass times their two lights. And then scientists are going to now log in and say, no those is this light, this is that light. No, no, the two lights, the nur and the nar within you means then your structure your mass has to be destroyed. So one, your mass has to be brought up and smashed. So you're in the moon training program. When you've reached a station of being a moon, a moon, you've been tested, tested, tested. Now by the grace of Allah He can flip that which is a planet and make it ethereal and make you to be a star. And that's why Prophet is the star maker. 
because the levels of the heart is beginning to show you that what is the secret of a black hole? That which enters into the black hole they don't know yet but it comes out as a sun. It loses and the black hole completely smashes the mass of something, reduces it to nothing. But on the other side of the black hole from fana is baqa that it will be brought back to life clean and pure with no mass. So that it's now a star, it lost its planetary structure, it lost its mass and its two lights have been activated. It's reflective light from its head and it's Divinely fire within its heart, these two lights have been activated upon that by the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad's soul. These are all the realities of the soul and that's why in the levels of the heart teaches the levels of a star. That once that annihilation is coming that you became fana in the shaykh and that you destroyed your entire character and you entered into the ocean and the love and the reflection of the shaykh, the shaykh takes you into the presence of Prophet to be in his hudur, to be in the presence of that love, to be in the fana and the annihilation of that love and then to be in an existence within that love and that's the creation of a star. And that's why in the levels of the heart you have the, you have the yellow, red, white and then a greenish color which is almost like a greenish blue. These are actually different star formations that if Prophet brings that servant in, annihilates them and makes them to be a shams, they're like the yellow stars in our planets. If he annihilates again that servant they become the red giants, supernovas and within their reality they have an alchemy that they can change the elements around them from their reality because the red supernova actually can change elements. There's many, many miraculous understandings that Allah didn't create this universe that you look for, for, for like watching and stargazing and for shows. That's so Allah said, we didn't create this out of a jest or playing. It's not just ornaments for you to look nice and you look up there and you're entertained by the vision but each hold the reality of who we are and what we are capable of becoming. That Allah says, you know, perfect your form, rise to who you really should be of a moon that's perfected and following the course until the star maker comes and approaches and annihilates you and begins now your eternal structure. Because your eternal reality is to be a star, not to be a temporary planet and a temporary life on this earth. You are to reach your eternal reality and there are to be a star and Allah will give you planets that are in a magnetic pull to your reality and that your light sustains them, dresses them, blesses them because that's the reality of the star and Allah is the supreme power of that reality and goes deeper and deeper into the reality of the star formation and that the, the, the movement or the evolution of the soul on how Allah wants to evolve the growth of the soul is in its reality of its star. And then from the red star they become a white, they white, or white dwarf in which its reality is so smashed and condensed but so immensely heavy but its mass is so minute means that those become even more powerful realities, more powerful souls and the immensity of that reality can't be understood nor can be talked about. We pray that Allah address us from these lights and blessings. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amin yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.